the good news is, is that we've got high prices. The low cattle supply numbers, the low numbers have really supported price. And it looks like the, we're going to have good prices for the foreseeable future. That's the good news. The bad news is, is that a lot of times it's when we have high prices that we have just enough rope to hang ourselves sometimes, uh, room to make really big mistakes. And so what I wanted to concentrate on is, number one, giving some estimation and expectations of what prices are going to be. But secondly, follow that up with maybe ways that producers could look to make investments into their cow-calf operations that were wise and would pay them benefits in, in the years going forward. Things such as, number one, learning from the lessons of this drought and figuring out what an appropriate stocking rate was. Not for a 100-year drought, but certainly maybe for a 75% of normal rainfall kind of a situation, such that glitches or below normal rainfall didn't immediately trigger herd liquidation. Um, that's an easy one. Other things such as building or acquiring sufficient hay storage to be able to stockpile maybe two years worth of hay supplies so that you bought hay when it was plentiful and cheap and, and were able to sidestep purchasing hay in years like last year where the price was just out of the roof. Looking at risk management tools like the Rainfall Index or Pasture Rangeland and Forage Insurance Program which has traditionally given returns of 90 to 120 percent rate of return on your investment. And not only that, it generates money to you in times of drought when you need it the most. And the only time you owe premiums is in the years where you get above normal rainfall and can probably afford. You'll make more money in those years when you get rainfall. So it's a good hedge against what is traditionally our largest risks, and that's rainfall in the cow-calf industry. We put together a lot of resources in, in agricultural economics uh, as a result of the drought, basically with tools and spreadsheets. Um, cow bid, how much can I afford to pay for a cow? How much can I afford to spend on feed for a cow? Um, things that, questions that we get asked a lot during a, during a drought and during a period when, when folks are thinking about restocking. That website is agecoext.tamu.edu.